everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Laura where I do cooking and baking videos for today's recipe what I'm going to try since Halloween is right around the corner I am going to be making for you some candy and caramel apples a real simple treat a lot of people may not be sending their kids out uh, trick-or-treating this is a great treat to entertain the kids at home Okay, if you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comment section below and I will get back with you. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and go visit us on Facebook at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Guys, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is make sure that your apples have been washed. I do use a little bit of soap just to make sure that the wax part of this gets taken off. Otherwise, the, the candy will not stick to it and make sure you re remove your little labels and we are going to remove the stem so I just twist it and remove it I am going to do four green and four red and we're just going to mix them up we're going to do these caramel and we are going to do these candy we are going to need some skewers some wooden skewers these are pretty thick if I can find them for you, I will link them for you. Okay, and these, when you put the candy on them, you're going to set them upside down like that. So you want to stick the skewer right in the center where this is going to stand straight up like that. Just like that. And it's durable enough to hold up the apple. Okay, so we're going to do that to all the apples. Okay, now I'm gonna pop you over to the stove and we will get the candy started. Guys, I have a pot, a heavy bottom pot. You need that because otherwise the sugar will burn too quick. I have a small candy thermometer. Here I have my, my water, my sugar, and my corn syrup. Okay, and also I have some food coloring. I have gel food coloring. You're gonna, we're gonna bring this up to a boil. We're gonna reach the 300 degrees or 310 degrees, which is the hard crack stage, okay? So we are just gonna bring this up to a boil. I'm gonna have it over high heat to start. Once it starts to boil, I'm gonna lower the heat just a little bit, just so that it doesn't bubble over. So with the wooden spoon, we're going to mix this up until very well incorporated. Okay, now that it's incorporated, we're going to add our food coloring. And normally this is about a half of a teaspoon. If you don't feel like it's dark enough, just add a little bit more. This is a real pretty red. Candy apple red. And I think that's going to be just perfect. guys this is ready it has reached 310 I am gonna turn this off and you have to work pretty quick with these so I have my little tray with some parchment paper and we are going to dip them in here I hope you can see I tilt the pan just a little bit make sure the kids are out of the kitchen because if they get splashed with this it's very very hot okay then let the access roll off Just like that, and then pop them onto your baking sheet, okay? Now we're gonna keep going with these. Okay guys, we're gonna set these aside and let them get cool. We'll start with the caramel apples next. I'm gonna turn on the heat, here we go with the caramel apples. I'm gonna turn the heat up to high. We're gonna place our butter, our sugar, our brown sugar, our condensed milk. I put this in a larger pot because this is a lot more syrup, or caramel I should say and our corn syrup everything in the pool okay we're gonna give this a mix it's gonna take it a good 25 minutes or so 30 minutes to come to the temperature that we need 
And then at the very, very end, we are going to add some vanilla for flavoring. Okay, so just be patient with it. Stay close by. Don't leave the stove anytime you have, you're making caramel or candy um, for the candy apples. Finally came up to a boil. And you want to have this just on a medium heat. Just keep watching it. It's going to take about 20 minutes or so, okay? Just make sure you watch it and don't walk away from this. Make sure the kids are out of the kitchen so they don't have a accidental burn. And I'll be back after this is ready so we can dip our apples. has reached the desired temperature, which is 248 to 250. I'm going to turn it off and we are going to add just a little bit of vanilla. And just be careful because it might splash. Okay, so the heat is turned off. Now I'm going to get my apples. I have some chopped pecans here that I'm going to add to that because that just goes delicious with the caramel. Okay, let me take this spoon out of here. Okay, I take my little apple. Turn it around. Just be careful. Don't uh, burn yourself. Twirl it around. Dip it into the pecan and then just put it down onto the parchment paper. And that's it. Real easy. Okay, and then I'll just do some regular with no pecans. And I just twirl it to try to drop off the excess caramel. We do one of our big red ones. And they do get quite heavy, so you have to make sure and get a good wooden skewer for these. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going with these. Okay, guys, these are done. I'm going to pop you back over to the counter and show you another step for another candy apple. Okay, here is the, the chamoy. I'm going to show you the bottle here in a minute. It's like this. If I can find it, I'm going to link it for you. And this is the uh, tahin that I use for it. Okay, and all I do is I put this on the plate. I get one of my candy apples. Okay, and I dip it into the chamoy. Dip it as far as you want to take it. That's up to you. However much tahin you want on it. Let the excess drip off and then just place it onto your powder and then just sprinkle them on top just like that. And these are real popular where I'm from. And there you go. And these are very delicious. They're very sour. And there you go. And I just place them down on a on a tray and that's it. And the caramel ones, you can either put pecans on them. I love them with the pecans with the green apple. They just, they taste really, really good. Or you can just leave just the caramel. That's going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the recipe for the apples, just leave them in the comments below and I will get back with you. All the items that I used and the recipe will be in the description box below. And don't forget to go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, so talk to y'all later. Bye.